up my dudes, it's Demi and today I'm giving you a tour of the iconic Little Mermaid room here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I did a full detailed tour of Disney's Art of Animation with a tour of the Cars Family Suites room and I will link that video for you here and put in the description box below if you are looking for a full tour of the resort. But today we are looking at the Little Mermaid room. These rooms had a huge refurbishment a few years ago, so I am super excited to show you all it has to offer. So let's get into it. Let's see the Little Mermaid rooms here at Disney's Art of Animation, and let's go get into some hijinks. Disney's Art of Animation is known for having family suites, but all the way in the back, and it's a far walk from the lobby, are the Little Mermaid rooms. These are up to four people. These are rooms similar to what you will find over at the All Stars and Pop Century. There are three buildings in this section and you have your own pool. So if you know you want to book this room, please book as far in advance as you can because the rooms are limited, so they do book up pretty fast. When you are checking into your reservation, I definitely recommend asking to be located near the bus so that you can get one of the buildings closer to the bus. Otherwise, you'll be in that very back building over by Ariel. But we are in building seven, and here to greet us is our queen, Ursula herself. This building has four floors. I'm actually on the fourth floor. There are stairs, but in the center where you walk through by Ursula, you also have elevators. You have stairs here as well and on the sides of the buildings. This is what the elevator looks like. It's very standard, nothing fancy. And then actually the floors though, the floors are fancy. It's like a grotto. And then every floor will have ice and vending right by the elevator. They usually have drink vending machine. If you want snack vending machine, go over to the pool by the laundry. They have snacks in there. Not too far from the elevator. And here is the view from my front door. We have a Skyliner view and look how gorgeous it is right now at sunset. You can see Pop Century across the way, just stunning. But here is my room 7841. If you do mobile check-in on the My Disney Experience app, you can use your phone or Magic Band as your key. And here we are. Before we get into all of the details, let's do one big overview of the Little Mermaid rooms. I think it's just so gorgeous in here. It feels like we are in Disney in this room. I mean, the Little Mermaid is so Disney in this room. Wow. It really keeps you in that Disney bubble. It makes me want to just crawl into bed and watch the Little Mermaid in this room. Oh, it's so beautiful in here. Okay, let's get into the details of the room. When you first walk into your right is your big window. Let's see our Skyliner view from here. Gorgeous, yes, we have a tree, but we can still see it. And at sunset, wow, really, it's stunning. And then we have our blackout curtains that feel like we're in the ocean. To the right of the windows is our temperature control. It is at 60 degrees in here and it will not go lower than that in case you're interested. After that, we have the table area. This is so beautiful. We have these seashell chairs that are just so gorgeous. And then we have on the table, under the sea, sheet music. It's not, it's like part of the table. It's so, so pretty. And then we have this gorgeous light up mirror with the fish and the shells. And oh look, Ursula's shell. After our beautiful sitting area is our big TV and dresser. I wanted to quickly show you the TV because when the TV comes on, you have this screen where you see Ariel outside and it just constantly keeps playing music from The Little Mermaid, like instrumental, beautiful music. Here you can watch regular TV. You can also connect to your device. Let's say you have Netflix or Amazon Prime or something on your phone that you wanna watch on the TV. You just get on the guest Wi-Fi, scan that QR code, and you can cast or airplay it to the TV and works great. If you go to Parks and More, it will also give you the times of everything here at Disney. On top of the dresser is our Cuisinart coffee maker with our Joffrey's in-room coffee. These are our single use pods, regular and decaf, plus some Twinings tea and all, Twinings tea rather, and all the fixins. On the opposite side is our ice bucket and cups and a little guide to the magic book. 
the shape of the dresser is just so iconic. And then we have six drawers here. They're not very wide, but they are pretty deep. And then on the right, it may look like drawers, but it's your mini fridge. And currently they did not switch out to those new mini fridges that we've been seeing where it has a glass door with no door storage. This one does have door storage, no like freezer section, but it is pretty cold in there. And then after that is an adjoining room door. Not one of my favorite things because I don't like hearing my neighbors. I will let you know if I do in the end of the video after I sleep here, but we do have some fabulous hooks on the wall, which I love me some hooks. It's great storage space. Turning around and now we have our two queen size beds with the seahorses and your nightlight is them looking at the light and it's so precious and I love it. I love it so much. And then in the center, we have Flounder and Sebastian high-fiving. Oh, I didn't even realize. On that side, we have some like seaweed leaves, but then on this side, we have a mermaid tail, love that. There is no carpet on this floor, which is great. And there is lots of storage space underneath the beds for luggage. Below Sebastian and Flounder is our center console. We have a little storage cubby. We have one small drawer in here. We have our phone and look, we have a Hey Disney. Disney has partnered with Amazon to have an Echo in every room and I literally decided this was a myth because I still haven't seen one since the apparent rollout until now. So I am so excited, let's check it out. Hello friend, I'm the Disney magical companion here to make your stay more delightful along with my friend Alexa. While you're here, you can ask me and my friend Alexa questions. When you say, hey Disney or Alexa, your request will be sent to Amazon for processing in the cloud. If I can help, Amazon will send your request, but not your voice recording to Disney. Press the red button above to turn on the microphone, then say, hey Disney, start the magic. Hey Disney, start the magic. Hey Disney, what can you do? It's the Disney Magical Companion at your service. To find out all I can do, say or tap, get things from my room, send a cast member, plan my day, explore Disney fun, or try more things. Plan my day. Tell me about dining. Tell me about transportation. Tell me about the parks. Or set an alarm. Tell me about my resort. I can't answer those types of questions yet, but you can be assured those <laughs> abilities are coming soon. Tell me about transportation. Epcot. Headed to Epcot from Disney's Art of Animation Resort? Hop on the Disney Skyliner, which runs continuously. Get things for my room. Beverage service? You can ask me for regular or decaf. Oh. Call for in-room green or what I can get you personal care items that's great room items you can ask me for more toilet great. paper we have bath towels great Bed towels let you can ask me for bedding like crib sheets awesome twin sheets or kink send a cast member get room service tell me if you need guest room services to oh. clean your room or skip cleaning today remove used linens set up a very sofa. cool let me know how maintenance I can let maintenance know if Ooh, you need something Ooh, that's great. Fixed. That one's really good. Air... Let me know if you need a plumber to fix your shower or tub. A helpless... Okay. You'd like some help with your luggage. Let's try more things. Try more things. Set a timer. A timer for how long? Five seconds. Five seconds. Starting now. Alexa, stop. To hey, Disney. Started. Exit. And there you go. All right, back to the room tour. The last thing in the bedroom is the really nice picture on the wall of Prince Eric and Max at their castle. Now let's head into the bathroom area. First, we do have a nice big curtain that separates that area off with the octopus and some friends from under the sea, literally like the song under the sea. And then here we have our vanity area. We have this really pretty mirror with the shell lights on top. It is one single sink, but we do have a lot of space underneath for storage, which is great. We have some towels, we have tissues, we have some H2O facial soap. On the wall, we have more towels and a magnifying mirror. The fan automatically runs in the bathroom, so that's probably what you're hearing if you hear a hum. But also in this area is our closet. It's actually a pretty nice size closet, no door. But above we have some extra pillows and blankets. 
a full-size Conair hairdryer, a luggage rack in the corner, our iron and ironing board, and we have our safe. Ooh, and then look at the floor. It kind of looks like we're going from the ocean to the land. Very cool. Now let's head into the actual bathroom area. We have our towels in here. We have Ariel, of course, on our shower curtain. So beautiful. And we have our full length mirror on the door. But wait, there's more. Look at the shower. It's Ariel's grotto. How amazing is that? I have stayed at a lot of Disney resorts. And this is by far the coolest shower I have ever seen. We have our little soap dish area there. And then on the wall, we have our refillable body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. We have our clothesline on the wall. You just pull that string and connect it here. And you have a clothesline. Here is the shower pressure. I think you gotta have to adjust it a little bit. Right now, I would give this like a five in pressure, but like a seven in relaxation because <laughs> it feels nice. It's just not that powerful. And now it's my favorite part of my room tours, the outlet stitch. We're gonna go around the room, count up all of the outlets because outlets are important to us. They charge our devices. Even our magic bands need to be charged now. And there needs to be enough charging stations for the four people that can stay in this room. So let's count them up. Two by the wall by the front door. Two under the table. Four outlets, four USB-A's on the dresser. Two additional outlets behind the dresser. Two outlets, two USB-A's on the center console. Two outlets under Prince Eric. And two outlets in the vanity area. So there was a total of 16 regular outlets and six USB-A's for a total of 22 charging stations. If there are four people in this room, that's about five and a half charging stations per person, which is great. I also wanna point out that whatever side and whatever bed you sleep on, you will have an outlet next to you, which I just love because that sometimes isn't the case at hotels, which is baffling to me. So absolutely five and a half per person is great number and the placements are great. The Little Mermaid rooms at Disney's Art of Animation is definitely getting the hijinks outlet seal of approval. And finally, Okay, bed seems firm, pillows are soft. I will sleep here tonight and let you know in the morning how I slept, which for you will be in a few seconds. Well, my dudes, that was the Little Mermaid Rooms here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I slept really well, bed was super, super comfortable, pillows were comfortable, and it was nice and cool in my room. I will say I did hear my neighbors, but luckily they were quiet during the night. Um, I didn't hear their TV, but I felt like maybe they could hear mine, so I kept mine on really low. That's like the one drawback is like, the walls are thin, but I feel like it's almost inescapable now of like every, every place I go to, especially that has. An adjoining room door, but I still really loved this room. This room really felt very Disney to me. As much as I love like the all-stars and the refurbishment that goes on, and the rooms over at Pop Century as well, which are very now similar to what's gone on over at the all-stars, this honestly just, it felt like I was in Disney. It made me feel like a kid again in Disney, which is, it's hard for me to, to, to feel that way a lot because I'm, I'm doing all these videos all the time here. It really just made me want to stay in the room, which I did, and uh, just like enjoy the room. I, I really did. Um, I think the one drawback for me about these rooms though is that the location is pretty far from the lobby and these rooms are the same size and like same style as the All Stars and Pop, but they cost more. This was over $200 to stay here for one night versus, you know, sometimes you can get the All Stars for like $120. So that's the only thing that bothers me. It's like, since they have all this theming, they like really upcharge it. So honestly, like, it's up to you. I don't, I don't know if I will ever stay here again. I'm glad I did it once, but it just seems very high for what you get. Like as much as I, I again, I did get that feeling of I'm in Disney, but I don't know, is it worth spending an extra 50 to $100? I, I don't know, because they can even, the hot, it was, it's over $200, right? So that's my only issue with these rooms, but they're beautiful and they're clean and the staff here is super, super nice. And I, 
I just had a, a great, great stay here. So let me know, would you stay at the Little Mermaid rooms here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort? Have you stayed here before? What was your experience like? Let me know in the comments below and that only helped me, but others who are tri trip planning for the future. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes in this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out the Patreon. You'll get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, help with trip planning, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like these resort tours that I do personally fund to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get to some hijinks very, very soon. Hubba bye.